I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the time? Can I restart? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, say can you see Folks who are standing, uh, there are seats anywhere. You can find a seat within the students. You can come sit there, please. That way you don't have to stand. I want to thank the Criminal Justice Program for the presenting of the colors. And also for Kristen Warner for singing, you gotta push through. That's the way to do it. Don't give up. Welcome everyone tonight. We have a great program for you tonight. Lots of accomplishments this year for students. Um, I also want to um, recognize uh, some of the support staff at this time. Uh, Mr. Shaw, could you please stand up so we can see who you are? I got it right this year. <laughs> Mrs. Salisbury works in the office with uh, Mr. Shaw. There's always one in the group, right? Mrs. Hansen, Student Services Coordinator. Mr. Wilford Murray, Maintenance and Janitorial. Um, we also have some 
med techs that I want to recognize. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Mullins, where are you, Elizabeth? <laughs> and also Mr. Adam Smith, med tech, uh, educational technician. I think I got all the support staff. I'm Mr. Levin, I'm the director here at the school, and um, we're gonna go through each program and uh, mention, uh, or at least uh, read off the uh, accomplishments of each student. And at the end, we'll have some scholarship presentations. We have some gifts, uh, guests here as well, and then uh, we'll be all done. I'm hoping to get out within two hours, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. That's quite a, quite a lofty goal, but we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, we're gonna start with early childhood education. Mrs. Gudrow. Students, come on up, too. So students are going to come on my left. You're going to get your portfolio and then go to the right. And then when we're done, you can go back to your seats. How's that sound? Perfect, I like that, all right, good. Okay, first up is Mariah Castelligo. She's not here? I thought she was, I saw her in the lobby, okay. So, uh, Jasmine, is she here? Cassidy? So far, so good. Jennifer Larnigan? Lillian LaPointe. All right, Lillian, come on up. What I'll do is, oh, Lily, you gotta stay right over here. No, no, stay here while I read off to you. It's always, the first one always gets, you know. Right, but stay right there, because I wanted you to be recognized and I wanna shake your hand too before you go over, okay? All right, Lily and LaPointe, these are certifications she's earned this year. She has, she's uh, earned three credits in ECE 110, which is a child and adolescence development program, uh, class, ECE 116, early literacy development for three credits. She's a certified behavioral health professional. She's certified in CPR and first aid. She earned her OSHA 10 card. She is a main road to quality registrant. She's a certified early childhood assistant. She is also a state of Maine mandated reporter and she is a Maine Department of Education Educational Technician 1. Jillian Poliquin. Jillian earned three credits in ECE 110, which is Child and Adolescence Development class. ECE 116, Early Literacy Development for three credits. She's a certified behavioral health professional, certified in CPR and first aid. She earned her OSHA 10 card. She is a registrant of the Maine Road to Quality. She's certified early childhood assistant and she's a state of Maine mandated reporter. Congratulations. Kimberly here? Kimberly Mariner. Kimberly earned three credits in ECE 110, Child and Adolescent Development. She also earned three credits in Early Literacy Development. She is certified a certified behavioral health professional. She earned her CPR first aid certification, OSHA 10 card, main road to quality registrant. She's also a certified early childhood assistant, a state of Maine mandated reporter, and she is also a Maine Department of Education educational technician one. Lenati Jabra, did I get that right? Sure. sure, okay. She earned three credits in child and adolescence development class. These are all college credits. I didn't mention that before. Uh, three college credits in ECE 116, which is early literacy development. She's a certified behavioral health professional, certified in CPR first aid, earned an OSHA 10 card. She's a registrant in the Maine Road to Quality. She's also a certified 
early childhood assistant and a state of Maine mandated reporter. Congratulations. Bailey Moore. She earned three credits in the Child and Adolescence Development class. She is a CPR first aid certified. She is a trained, uh, she's a, I'm sorry, a registered, regis she's registered in the Maine Road to Quality and she's a state of Maine mandated reporter. Bjornsson Burgess. <laughs> Haley earned three college credits in the Child and Adolescent Development class. She's also a certified behavioral health professional. She's certified in CPR and first aid. She earned her OSHA 10 card. She is a Maine Road to Quality Registrant, State of Maine Mandated Reporter, and a Maine Department of Education Educational Technician 1. And she's a registered CNA. Rebecca Seaman. Rebecca earned three college credits in child and adolescence development. She's also CPR first aid certified. She is a Maine Road to Quality registered, and she is a state of Maine mandated reporter. Sage Roberts. Sage earned three college credits in the Child and Adolescence Development class, college class. She's a certified behavioral health professional, CPR first aid certified, earned her OSHA 10 card, Maine Road to Quality Registrant, State of Maine mandated reporter, and she is also a Maine Department of Education Educational Technician 1. Allison Austin. Allison earned three college credits in ad child and adolescent development. She is a certified behavioral health professional, certified in CPR and first aid, earned her OSHA 10 card. She's a Maine Road to Quality Registrant, and she is a state of Maine mandated reporter. I just got some information. She's a graduating junior as well. Good job. Thank you, ladies. You can go back to your seat. Multimedia, please come up. hands-on podcast or the Facebook page, a lot of uh, social media and, and media in general, he, his class puts it out. So I want to talk about his students and Gabe Talbert. Gabe is a second year student. He's earned two certifications, Adobe Certified Professional in Premiere Pro and After Effects. He's enrolled at Eastern Maine Community College and he's an OSHA 10, he, he earned his OSHA 10 card as well. Congratulations, Gabe. Emma Rehnquist. Emma's a first year student. She has two certifications, Adobe Certified Professional in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. She has earned her OSHA 10 hour card. She, will be, she is enrolled and will be attending Eastern Maine Community College in the fall and plans on being a game warden. Very nice. Thank you. Nick Palmer. Nick's a first year student in multimedia productions. He has two certifications so far, 
Adobe Certified Professional in Adobe Premiere and After Effects. He also has earned his OSHA 10 card. He plans to return to multimedia production for a second year. Congratulations, Nick. Aiden Howell. Aiden's a first year student in multimedia production. Oh, hang on, Aiden. You don't get out of it that easy. OSHA 10 card, uh, is, he earned his OSHA 10 card and he's returning to multimedia next year for a second year. Alex Mullins. Alex is a first year student. She earned three certifications this year, Adobe Certified Professional in Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and Illustrator. She is a 2023 National Technical Honor Society inductee. She earned her OSHA 10 card, and she hopes to join AmeriCorps. Congratulations, Alex. Ryan Gott. Ryan's a second year student. She has earned three certifications this year, Adobe Certified Professional in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and InDesign. She earned her OSHA 10 card, and she is enrolled at Eastern Maine Community College. Congratulations. Nicole Fields. Nicole's a second year student. She has earned three certifications, Adobe Certified Professional in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Animate. She earned her OSHA 10 card, and she is enrolled at Eastern Maine Community College as well. Congratulations. <laughs> Owen Snow. <laughs> Owen's our international star because he does an online uh, hands-on podcast and for, uh, for Tri-County Technical Center. He's a second year student as well. He's earned two certifications, Adobe Certified Professional in Adobe Premiere and After Effects. He was a National Technical Honor Society last year, uh, and he's enrolled at the New England School of Communications, NESCOM, at Hudson University. Congratulations, Owen. All right, thank you, students. You can go have your seat. Metals, come on up, Metals Manufacturing. Manufacturing. All the students received a standard space competency record and all have earned six dual enrollment credits from Southern Maine Community College in precision machining. And I have some additional credentials I'll read as we go down through. So I'll do the uh, sophomores and juniors first, and you'll get come up and get your portfolio. Mackenzie Beam. Lily Brown. All right, so we're on the seniors. Hunter Barnes. Not here, okay, hold on. Preston Garish. Jaron Grant. Wow. 
Jaron Grant is also, oh, you can't go behind me. That's oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Okay. That's a restraint. That's cool. Uh, Jaron's a third year student. He also earned his OSHA tank card. Andrew Hayden. Cole Herrick. Zach Raymond. Zachary also, on, uh, also earns his OSHA Tenkai. Caleb, <coughs> excuse me, Caleb Schobel. Caleb also earned his OSHA Tenkai. That's it. Thank you, students. <laughs> Graphic design, please come up. So we, we only have two here tonight, but that's okay. We'd like to recognize these two students. They're great students. Uh, Sydney Grenier, she earned her OSHA 10 card. She also is certified in Adobe Photoshop for three credits at Eastern Maine Community College, Intro to Photoshop. Holden Gunther, he earned his OSHA 10 card. He certified in Adobe Photoshop and he earned three credits from Eastern Maine Community College Intro to Photoshop. You guys can take your seats. Energy Systems Technology. So Energy Systems Technology is a new program. Um, it kind of transitioned from Tech Foundations to a, a program that focuses more on alternative energies and sustainable energies. So uh, Mr. Mullins is our new instructor this year. So we're gonna talk about uh, the students that are here and also their certification. So is, okay, Gabe Cupero. Gabe also earned his OSHA 10 card. <laughs> Wesley Bragan. <laughs> Wesley also earned his OSHA 10 card. <laughs> Ryan Farrow. I want you to have your moment. You also earned your OSHA Tenkai. Wyatt Ladd. Wyatt also earned his OSHA Tenkai. Burley Rowe. Burley also earned his OSHA 10 card. Alexander Hale. Alexander also earned his OSHA 10 card. And Macy Scott. What happened to ladies going first? 
right? Macy's still working on her OSHA 10. She's real close. Thank you, students. Culinary ads, come on up. Okay, first up is Ruth Ann Arnold. Ruth earned her ServeSafe Food Handler, Korea Safe OSHA 10 card, and ServeSafe Food Protection Manager, and that comes with three college credits. Anna Dean. <laughs> Hannah earned her Serve Safe Food Handler. She also uh, earned her OSHA 10 card. She was a local Skills USA silver medalist. She earned her Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook for three college credits, and she also earned her Serve Safe Food Protec Protection Manager for three additional college credits. Congratulations, Hannah. <laughs> Bryson Gilbert. Bryson earned his Serve Safe Food Handler, Career Safe OSHA 10 card. He also earned three credits in the Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook and three more college credits as a Serve Safe Food Protection Manager, which is good for five years. Zachary Gudrow. Zachary earned his Serve Safe Food Handler and he earned his Career Safe OSHA 10 card as well. Addison Hall. Addison earned her Serve Safe Food Handler, her OSHA 10 card. She earned three college credits by, uh, in the Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook. She is a Serve Safe Food Protection Manager for three, for three additional college credits, and she was uh, in a competition at the University of Maine Cooperative Education. It was called the Local Foods Competition, and her and another person uh, got third place. What? Yeah, I'll get to it. With Lillian, yep, yeah, there you go. Lillian's behind it, right? They're together as a team. Congratulations, Addie. Lillian earned her Surf Safe Food Handler, Career Safe OSHA 10 card. She was a local Skills USA bronze medalist. She was third place winner in the University of Maine Cooperative Education Local Foods Competition, along with Addison, they were a team. She earned three college credits in the Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook, and she also earned three college credits in Surf Safe Food Protection Manager, which is good for five years. Faith Snowman. Faith earned her Serve Safe Food Handler and Career Safe OSHA 10 card. Congratulations. Cameron Stover. Cameron earned his Serve Safe Food Handler, Career Safe OSHA 10 card. He also earned three college credits in the Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook, and also three additional college credits in the Serve Safe Food Protection Manager, which is good for five years. Congratulations.
Mackenzie Trafton. Mackenzie earned her Serve Safe Food Handler, Korea Safe OSHA 10 card. She earned three college credits in the Nocti Colony Arts Prep Cook. She also earned three more college credits as a Serve Safe, Serve Safe Food Protection Manager, which is good for five years. Congratulations. Dominic Whipple. Dominic earned his Serve Safe Food Handler. He earned his OSHA 10 card. He earned three college credits in the Nocti Culinary Arts Prep Cook. He also earned three more additional credits for Serve Safe Food Protection Manager, which is good for five years. Congratulations, Dominic. Kirsten received her five-year Serve Safe Management Certificate. She also received the Serve Safe Food Handler, the NOCTI uh, certification, and um, she did a great job. Nathan uh, received his uh, Safe Food Handler. Uh, serve safe uh, five year uh, management as well as the NOCTI uh, cul culinary arts prep cook certification. Thank you, students. Criminal justice, come on down. It's a big group. They're a handful too, aren't they? I thought so, yeah. All students in criminal justice earn the following credentials, communication and team building, PTSD awareness training, combat life-saving skills, mandated reporter training, CPR certification, stop the bleed certification, mass casualty incident training, and emergency dispatch certification. Congratulations, students. Now we'll do the portfolios. Bryce Connor. Dagan Doherty. Caden Kimball. Katie Markham. Gage Nickerson. Ryan Robichaud. Douglas Vespero.
Ben Smith. Colin Swain. Olivia Witten. Bryce Connor. Ethan Tarr. <laughs> Jeremiah Rowe. <laughs> Alexander Morris. Kayla Moore. Casey Hurd. Lauren Bruner. Uh, just a quick thing. Uh, during the summer, end of July, I was injured in an accident, and they told me I probably wouldn't go back to work until November. And <clears throat> the biggest thing that upset me was, what about my kids? What am I going to do with my kids? And so they had this guy named Adam Smith come in and take my class. And to be honest with you, I don't think the kids wanted me back. <laughs> um, great job. We wouldn't have made it the year without him. They got a little present for him. We bought you a plaque which reads, Tri-County Technical Center presented to Adam Smith on May 24th, 2023. It says, we are forever grateful that you always communicated how much faith you always had in us. It is something that we always need to hear and will never forget. Thank you from the Criminal Justice Program. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Smith, for joining our team. Would the engineering design CAD students please come up?
Gabriella Clark. Gabrielle, Gabriella is certified in AutoCAD. She's earned three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 10 college credits. Congratulations, Gabby. Hunter Ronco. Hunter is certified in AutoCAD. He earned three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 10 college credits. Congratulations, Congratulations Hunter. Justin Ryder. Justin earned his AutoCAD certification, Revit certification. He earned three NOCTI proficiency credits, three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, three credits of ACE equivalency for a total of 15 college credits. Tiffany Heinrichs. <laughs> Tiffany earned her AutoCAD certification, her Revit certification. She earned three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, three credits of ACE equivalency for a total of 12 college credits. Alyssa Jerome. <laughs> Alyssa is AutoCAD certified. She has three, she earned three NOCTI proficiency credits, three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 13 college credits. Aaron Morris. Aaron's earned his AutoCAD certification. He has three NOCTI proficiency credits, three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 13 college credits. Braden Neptune. Braden is AutoCAD certified. He earned three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 10 college credits. Congratulations. Cole Smith. He is, let's go Cole. He is AutoCAD certified. He has three NOCTI proficiency credits. He has three credits in CAD graphics from Southern Maine Community College, three credits in print reading from Southern Maine Community College, three credits from Eastern Maine Community College, one credit of ACE equivalency for a total of 13 college credits. Okay, computer information system security. Yeah, you guys can go sit down. Sorry, I forgot about you guys over there. Mr. Wilhite, you and your students, please come up.
Kyle Ahern. Kyle has earned his net. Kyle has earned his net. Is that network? Yeah. Yeah. Network plus, security plus, certification of course completion. Congratulations, Kyle. Freddie Beam, Frederick Beam, excuse me. <laughs> Freddie earned his Security Plus certification in course completion. Congratulations, Freddie. Ian Calderwood. Ian earned his certification in completion in Security Plus. Josh Oldham. Josh earned his Security Plus certification. Jasmine Page. Jasmine earned her Security Plus certification. Devin Pelkey. Devin earned his Security Plus certification. Caleb Rehnquist. Caleb earned his uh, Security Plus certification. Owen Sherman. Owen earned his Security Plus certification. Job. All right, students, you can go have a seat. Thank you very much. EMT. Medical Technicians, Courtney Barnett, so Courtney earned her American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command 100 and 700 level, State of Maine Mandated Reporter Certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness, participated in the Two Days of Mass Casualty Incident Training, she met the requirements of the NREMT certification. She participated in the 911 dispatch program and she will be attending EMCC for business and she's got a jump bag. Congratulations. <laughs> Brooke, excuse me, Brooklyn Blockler. Brooklyn earned her American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed, State of Maine Mandated Reporter Certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness. She was inducted into the National Technical Honor Society this year. She participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training. She met the requirements of the NREMT certification, participated in 911 dispatch program, and she will be attending UMaine Orno for kin kin Kinesiology? 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 I'm under a lot of pressure here. And physical education. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Andrew Dowdy. Here we go. Maybe. 
So Andrew earned his Firefighter 1 and 2 Pro Board Certification, American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at the 100, 200, and 700 level. He is a state of Maine mandated, mandated reporter. He has his PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certification, National Technical Honor Society member for two years at Tri-County. He is the Tri-County Student of the Year for 2023. Uh, he's a gold medalist for Maine's Skills USA and will be com competing at the Nationals in June in Atlanta, Georgia. He participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training. She was, he was, she, sorry. He was a class officer for two years at the rank of captain. He's on track to get his NREMT certification, participated in 911 dispatch program, and will be attending Southern Maine Community College's Fire Science Program. Congratulations, Andrew. Well, yeah, you're right. Caleb Fowler. Caleb's not here, okay. Uh, Samantha Lovely. Samantha earned her American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed Certification, State of Maine Mandated Reporter Certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certification. She was inducted into the National Technical Honor Society this year. She competed in the Skills USA EMT competition at the state level, local and state level. She participated in two days of mass casualty incident training. She is pursuing her RN, R, NR EMT certification and has met the requirements for the course. She participated in 911 dispatch program and she is returning to Tri County Technical Center in the fall to enroll in either firefighting or automotives. Congratulations, Sam. Aaliyah McFarlane. Aaliyah earned her American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at the 100 and 700 level. She's a State of Maine mandated reporter. PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certification, participated in two days of mass casualty incident training. She was inducted into the National Technical Honor Society. She participated in the 911 dispatch program. She is pursuing her NREMT certification and has met the requirements of the course, and she will be attending EMCC's EMS program in the fall. Congratulations. <laughs> Riley Melanson. She earned her American Heart Association Basic Life Support Certification, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at the 100 and 700 levels, State of Maine Mandated Reporter certifi Certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Class Officer, and served as the rank of Lieutenant. She participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training. She met the requirements of NREMT certification. She participated in the 911 dispatch program and she will be attending EMCC in nursing, in the nursing program in the fall. Congratulations, Riley. <laughs> Destiny Seibert? Seibert, excuse me. Destiny Seibert. She earned, yep. She earned her certification in the American Heart Association Basic Life Support, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at the 100 and 700 level. She's a state of Maine mandated reporter. She uh, participated in the PTSD suicide prevention and awareness and got her certification. She was in, involved in the two days of mass casualty incident training. She's pursuing her NREMT certification and has met the requirements of the course. She's participated in the 911 dispatch program and she will be finishing up her senior year at Penquist Valley High School. Thank you, EMT students. Firefighting students, come on up.
Jared Bard. Jared earned his American Heart Association CPR and First Aid Certification, Stop the Bleed, State of Maine Mandated Reporter, Reporter Certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness, participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training, participated in the 911 dispatch program. He plans to return to TCTC in either the automotives, commercial truck driving, or firefighting program next year. Congratulations, Jared. Diane Sherrier. <laughs> Diane served as a class officer in the position of senior lieutenant. She earned her certification in American Heart Association, uh, I'm sorry, from the American Heart Association in CPR and first aid. She earned her Stop the Bleed certification, her National Incident Command 100, 200, and 700 level. She's a state mandated reporter, state of Maine mandated reporter. She is a PTSD suicide prevention and awareness certified. She participated in two days of our mass casualty incident training. She's on track to receive her firefighter one and two pro board certification. She participated in the 911 dispatch program and she will be attending Tri-County Technical Center's EMT program next year. Congratulations. Michael Connolly. Nope, all right. Dawson Dow. <laughs> Dawson is a second year student in firefighting. He served as a class officer this year as captain. He earned his American Heart Association in CPR and first aid certification, Stop the Bleed certification, National Incident Command at the 100, 200, and 700 level. State of Maine mandated reporter certified, PTSD suicide prevention and awareness, participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training, earned his basic fire attack certification. He's on track to receive his firefighter one and two pro board certification. He participated in the 911 dispatch program and he will be attending EMCC's criminal justice program in the fall. Congratulations, Dawson. <laughs> Braden Flag. <laughs> Braden earns his American Heart Association CPR and First Aid certification, Stop the Bleed, State of Maine Mandated Reporter certification, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness. He was inducted into the National Technical Honor Society this year. He participated in the two-day mass casualty incident training. He's on track to receive his firefighter one and two pro board certification. He participated in the 911 dispatch program and he is head headed to basic training for the Navy. <laughs> Dylan Gage. <laughs> Dylan earned three college credits at EMCC. Uh, the class was induction to Introduction to Emergency Services. He earned a certification from the American Heart Association in CPR and First Aid, Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at 100, 200, and 700 levels. He's a State of Maine mandated reporter, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness, National Technical Honor Society inductee this year, and now a member. He also participated in the Mass Casualty Incident Training. He's on track to receive his Firefighter 1 and Pro Board certification, and he will advance to Firefighter 2. And he participated in the 911 dispatch program, and he will be attending Tri-County next year in the commercial truck driving program. Congratulations. <laughs> Olivia Gilman. Olivia is a second year student. She earned three college credits at EMCC for Introduction to Emergency Services. She's certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and First Aid. She is certified by the American Heart Association for Basic Life Support. She's also certified to Stop the Bleed, National Incident Command at 100, 200, and 700 levels. She is a Maine, state of Maine mandated reporter. 
PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certified, participated in two days of mass casualty incident training. She's eligible to test for her NREMT exam. She's on track to receive her Firefighter 1 and 2 Pro Board certification. She participated in the 911 Dispatch Program, and she plans on attending either college or trade school for emergency medical services. Cameron Pile. Cameron is a second year student. He is certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and first aid. He is also certified by the American Heart Association in basic life support. He also earned his Stop the Bleed certification, National Incident Command 100, 200, and 700 levels. He's a State of Maine certified mandated reporter. PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness. Complete, competed in Maine Skills USA EMT competition at the local and state level. He participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training. He's eligible to test for his NREMT exam. He's on track to receive his Firefighter 1 and 2 Pro Board certification. He participated in the 911 dispatch program, and he plans to attend Northern Maine Community College to pursue a degree in paramedicine. Angelique Pelkey. Angelique is certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and first aid. Certified to stop the bleed. She's certified as a National Incident Command at the 100, 200, and 700 level. State of Maine mandated reporter certified. She's a PTSD suicide prevention and awareness certification. Participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training on track to receive her firefighting one and two pro board certification. She participated in the 911 dispatch program and plans to attend Eastern Maine Community College for Fire Science or UMaine for criminal justice. Congratulations. <laughs> Leah Richards. Aaliyah earned three college credits from Eastern Maine Community College, Introduction to Emergency Services. She's certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and First Aid, certified in Stop the Bleed, certified in National Incident Command at the 100, 200, and 700 level, State of Maine mandated reporter, PTSD, suicide prevention and awareness, participated in two days of mass casualty incident training. She participated in the 911 dispatch program. She plans on attending Kennebec Valley Community College for Mental Health Studies. Congratulations. <laughs> Douglas Rowe. <laughs> Douglas served as a class officer in the position of junior lieutenant this year. He is certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and first aid. Also certified in Stop the Bleed. He certified in National Incident Command at the 100, 200, and 700 level. He's a certified State of Maine mandated reporter. PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certification. Participated in the two days of mass casualty incident training. He's on track to receive his Firefighter 1 and 2 Pro Board Certification. He participated in the 911 Dispatch Program. And he plans to enroll in the commercial truck driving or truck driving, EMT, or firefighting next year. Congratulations, Douglas. <laughs> Molly Sippel. <laughs> Molly is certified by the American Heart Association in CPR and first aid. Certified to stop the bleed. She's a certified state of Maine mandated reporter. She is certified in PTSD, suicide prevention and awareness. She participated in two days of mass casualty incident training. After completion of her live fire training, she's gonna apply, uh, she'll be able to uh, receive a firefighter one and two, pro board certification at the completion of her fire training. She has participated in the 911 dispatch program and future plans include basic training in, in the Army. She came to us late this year, so that's why she's a little bit behind on the live fire, but she's doing a great job. So, Molly Sippel, congratulations. <laughs> Madison Turner. 
Madison is certified by the American Heart Association CPR and First Aid, Stop the Bleed, State of Maine Mandated Reporter Certified, PTSD Suicide Prevention and Awareness Certified, participated in two days of mass casualty incident training, she participated in the 911 dispatch program, and she plans to return to Nokomis for her senior year. Congratulations, Madison. So, these guys have requested that they'd like to see Mr. what Mr. Wentworth would look like in hair. I think I like you better without it, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, students. Automotive students, come on up. Hunter Burrow, come on down. Hunter received his 504 multimedia, multimeter certification, entire pressure monitoring system four, and he is participating in an on-the-job training at New England Motors. Congratulations. Austin Carlo. Austin is certified in battery maintenance and engine starting certification, battery charging, battery starting and charging system diagnostics, tire pressure monitoring systems, 504 multimedia certification, and he participated in on-the-job training at Prouty Ford in Dover. Oh, where? Auto body, sorry, Prouty Auto body. Thank you. Rachel Creswell. Rachel, oh, I gotta find you again. I lost my spot, sorry. She's certified in tire pressure monitoring systems. Congratulations. Connor Hamlin. Connor is certified in tire pressure monitoring systems and 504 multimedia certification. Diego Gould. Diego is certified in tire pressure monitoring systems and 504 multimedia certifications. Congratulations, Diego. Raina Allen. Raina is certified in tire pressure monitoring systems and 504 multimeter, multimeter certification. I'm getting mixed up, Mr. Cole. Congratulations, Raina. Gavin McDonough. Gavin is certified in 504 multi meter certification and tire pressure marching systems. Congratulations, Gavin. <laughs> Dylan McKenzie. Okay. Colin Snell. <laughs> Colin is certified in 504 multi meter certification, battery maintenance and engine starting certification, battery charging certification, and he participated in an on-the-job training at Prouty Auto Body. Congratulations. <laughs> Brian Snyder. <laughs> Brian certified in a 504 multimeter certification, tire pressure marching systems, battery maintenance and engine starting, battery charging certification, battery starting and charging system diagnostics, Torque mechanical certification, and he participated in an all the jobs training at Ashy Auto Body. Is that in Jackman? In Jackman. <laughs> Nick.
this student makes a trip down from Jackman every tech day. Except when he's at all the job training. So great dedication. Shiloh Worcester. Shiloh's certified in 504 multimeter, tire pressure monitoring systems, pro cut rotor matching certification, shop key pro service and repair information at the level one, battery maintenance and engine starting certification, battery charging certification, battery starting and charging system diagnostics, torque mechanical certification, and she participated in on the job training where you have your own bay, right? At Varney GMC. Congratulations, Shiloh. Ben Burgoyne. Ben certified in 504 multimeter, tire pressure monitoring system, battery charging certification, battery maintenance and engine starting certification, and he participated in on the job training at Quirk Chevy. Congratulations, Ben. Also, uh, there's, we have hand tool safety, snap-on torque theory, electrical tool safety, um, automotive service safety, electrical vehicle safety, lift certification. She's a first-year student. Here. Madison Tasker. I'm sorry, Madison Tasker. Madison also came to us late in the year, about two months ago, from um, out of state, and we're looking forward to having her back next year. Fred Allen. <laughs> battery charging certification, battery maintenance and charging certifications, battery diagnostics and charging certifications, tire pressure monitoring certification. Multimeter certifications. Um, Fred has worked at Downey's Toyota for his internship and is a member of the National Guard. And so is Rachel Creswell, National Guard, by the way. Sander Grant. Uh, service safety, service pollution prevention, and electrical vehicle safety. Thank you, students. Building trades students, please come down. Dominic Redmond. <laughs> Dominic earned his OSHA tank card and his NOCTI certification. Congratulations. Thanks. Alan Gatchel. Sorry about that. OSHA 10 card, uh, Alan earned, as well as a NOCTI certification. Congratulations, Alan. <laughs> Alan's going into the Army. Army, yep, good job. <laughs> Kevin Hall. 
Carolyn Lufkin. Carolyn earned her OSHA 10 card. Elizabeth Roberts. She earned her OSHA 10 card and she had perfect attendance for the first semester. Congratulations. Braden Gary. So Braden's a third year billion trade student and he earned his OSHA 10 card this year. Congratulations. Thank you, students. Commercial truck driving students, please come down. Sierra Bagley. Yeah. Is she not here? Okay. Well, Sierra earned her CDL A permit. Okay. Philip Bagley. <laughs> Philip earned his CDL A permit. Um, I expect most of these students will get their CDL license uh, within the next few weeks. So um, they've got the permit now. They're going to get some hours in, and they'll go test. So. Um, it's, it's just not enough time yet in the year, but they'll get there. Jason Batchelor. Jason earned a CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Gage Beaudry. Simon Chadborn. Caden Chambers. I saw Caden. Here he is. Caden earned his CDL A permit and he earned his OSHA 10 card. Congratulations. Hunter Cookson. Hunter earned his CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Dustin Just Shadens. Damian Drake. Damian earned his CDL permit and OSHA 10 card. Kyle Draper. Kyle earned his CDL A permit. Owen Grant. <laughs> Owen earned a CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Don't go anywhere. Congratulations. <laughs> Everett Hines. <laughs> Everett earned a CDL permit and OSHA 10 card. George Hines. George earned his CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Brayden Kurt. Brayden earned his CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Ethan Lavoy. I worked on that all day, Lavoy. Caden Rollins. Caden earned his Class A permit. His Class A permit. <laughs> Levi Strout. <laughs> Levi earned his CDL A permit and OSHA 10 card. Congratulations. Cole Tibbetts.
forward the CDLA permit. Caden Brown. Caden earned the CDLA permit. I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. License, not permit. Austin Weymouth. Austin earned a CDL-A permit. Braden, sorry, Braden Rogers. He has a CDL-A license and he's been doing on-the-job training. LM Gravel and Sand. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Good evening, everybody. I just want to take a moment and talk real quick. I uh, started here four years ago, and I was told that the truck driving competition was going to be just this tremendous opportunity to get our students out there, have a great time, meet some people who were interested in hiring them, and then COVID hit. <laughs> so we didn't do that, and uh, we weren't able to for the last two years either, again, because of COVID. But this year, for the first time in five years, we were able to participate, and I'm really proud of my students. Uh, they really cleaned up well. Uh, we got first and second in Class A, first and second in Class B, plus our school won the overall student championship. So please join me in congratulating <laughs> my students. Health occupation students, please come up. Nora McMahon. Nora is CNA certified. She's also certified in CPR and as a mandated reporter. She's certified in Stop the Bleed. She earned her OSHA 10 card. And she also earned three college credits at EMCC for medical terminology. Congratulations. Lily Bagley. Lily is C CPR certified. She's also a certified mandated reporter, certified in Stop the Bleed, PTSD training. She earned her OSHA 10 card, and she earned th three college credits from EMCC in medical terminology. Congratulations, Lily. Cameron King. Cameron earned her CNA certification her CPS certification, her mandated reporter certification, Stop the Bleed, she earned her OSHA 10 card, and she also earned three college credits at Eastern Maine Community College for medical terminology. Cameron Spack. Cameron is CNA certified, CPS certified, she's a mandated reporter, certified in Stop the Bleed, she earned her OSHA 10 card and she earned three college credits at EMCC for medical terminology. <laughs> Ann
Adrian, Adrian Dyer, sorry. She earned her CNA certification, CPI certification. She's a mandated reporter for the state of Maine. She's certified in Stop the Bleed. She earned her OSHA 10 card, and she also earned three college credits to, from excuse me, EMCC for medical terminology. Gracie Scott. Uh, Macy Daring. Macy's CNA certified. She's certified in, uh, in CPR and as a mandated reporter. Certified in Stop the Bleed. She earned her OSHA 10 card and she's earned three college credits from EMCC for medical terminology. <laughs> Ivy Beatty. Ivy CNA certified. She's certified in CPR and as a mandated reporter. She's certified in Stop the Bleed. She earned her OSHA 10 card and she earned three college credits from Eastern Maine Community College in medical terminology. <laughs> Serenity Grant. Serenity is CPR certified. She's certified as a mandated reporter in Maine, certified in Stop the Bleed, PTSD training. She earned her OSHA 10 card and she earned three college credits from Eastern Maine Community College in medical terminology. <laughs> Emma Marble. Emma, is C she's a certified CNA. She's certified in CPR and as a mandated reporter in Maine. She's certified in Stop the Bleed, PTSD training. She earned her OSHA 10 card and she earned three college credits from Eastern Maine Community College for medical terminology. <laughs> Madeline Nickerson. Nope. Okay. Uh, Michaela Fogg. Michaela is a certified CNA. She's certified in CPR and as a mandated reporter in Maine. She is certified in Stop the Bleed, PTSD training, OSHA 10, and she earned three college credits to, uh, from Eastern Maine Community College in medical terminology. Congratulations. <laughs> Braylon Bilodeau. Braylon is a CNA certifi certified CNA. She's certified in CPR, mandated reporter in Maine, and she's certified in Stop the Bleed and PTSD training. She earned her OSHA 10 card, as well as three college credits from Eastern Maine Community College in medical te terminology. Thank you, students. That concludes our student recognition of uh, industry credentials. I'm now going to introduce Ms. Sarah Hansen. She's going to talk about National Law Society. Good evening, everybody. The National Technical Honor Society is an exclusive group made up of high achieving students from a career and technical education school. To be an NTHS member, students must first be nominated by their instructor. They should have a 3.0 GPA in both their program and at their sending school, and they should have no more than three absences from both TCTC and their sending school combined. They should display the attributes of NTHS, which are knowledge, skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership, and they should be active in their community and school and be an example to those around them. For the 2022-23 school year, we had 22 students meet the requirement to become members of NTHS, and this is the largest group we have ever had. These students are truly outstanding and amazing this year. 
As part of the recognition for their hard work, the NTHS members received a silver stole at the NTHS induction ceremony on May 3rd, which they can then wear at graduation. As I read your name, students, please stand to be recognized for your hard work. If you could hold your applause until I get all the names read off, I would appreciate it. Alyssa Jerome Cad from Dexter. Alyssa, stand up. Thank you. Hannah Dean. Sorry. No, stay standing. Stay standing. Stay standing. <laughs> Hannah Dean, Culinary Arts, Dexter. Mackenzie Trafton, Culinary Arts, Dexter. Brooklyn Blockler, EMT, Dexter. Samantha Lovely, EMT, Dexter. Braden Flagg, Firefighting, Dexter. Holden Gunther, see I said Holden, not Hayden. <laughs> Graphic Design and Communications, Dexter. Ivy Beatty, Health Occupations, Dexter. Gracie Scott, Health Occupations, Dexter. They're not all Dexter. Caleb Schobel, Metals Manufacturing, Dexter. Lily Brown, also Metals Manufacturing, Dexter. Alexandra Mullins, Multimedia Productions, Dexter. Dylan Gage, Firefighting, Foxcroft Academy. Rachel Cresswell, Automotive Technology, Nicomas. Addison Robison, CISS, Nicomas. Aaliyah McFarlane, EMT, Nicomas. Adrienne Dyer, Health Occupations, Nicomas. Cameron King, Health Occupations, Nicomas. Roland Kitchen, Metals Manufacturing, Nicomas. Bo Talbot, Building Trades, Guilford. Gabriella Clark, CAD, Guilford. And Cole Herrick, Metals Manufacturing, Guilford. We also had several students who were eligible for NTHS membership for a second year. These students were also recognized at the May 3rd banquet with their second year pin. Shiloh Worcester, Automotive Technology, Homeschool. Brian Snyder, Automotive Technology, Jackman. Justin Ryder, CAD, Nicomas. And Ben Bergoen, Automotive Technology, Dexter. Wait, there's more. NTHS has an additional honor to their membership, the Lapsen Endorsement, which stands for Law and Public Safety Education Network, is the premier support organization for the Law, Public Safety, Corrections, and Security Career Cluster, LPSCS, in secondary education. It exists to help and develop support career education programs in that area through curriculum development, students, and instructor certifications, instructor training, program assessments and certifications, and assistment, assistance in developing and improving LPSCS career programs. So in addition to the regular NTHS memberships, they also need to be in a law or public safety career program for at least two years and have no disciplinary actions in the past year. One student this year has won that additional honor, and that is Andrew Dowdy, second year NTHS member, EMT. Congratulations to all of you. You can sit now. going to move to the scholarship part and I would like to I'm going to change up the order a little bit I'd like to invite Chrissy Moody from the blue collar scholarship to come up and present hers sorry did I catch my surprise thank you thank you I think she did that because I did mention I have to drive two hours home tonight I think that's further than Jackman who somebody is driving back to Jackman maybe the same um, I am with the Maine Blue Collar Scholarship, and our mission is to provide um, 
assistance to individuals pursuing a career in the trades. We really just want to try to remove any barriers, remove any barriers as you enter into the trades. Um, business leaders in Maine came together to form this scholarship. Um, it's intended to help individuals gift with the ability to work with their hands towards educational costs or tool ships. So our scholarships can be used to buy tools or equipment that you need as you pursue your career in the trades. Um, I just want to say congratulations to everybody here tonight. It's, it's amazing to sit here and listen to the certifications, the licensings, the school credits that you already have. What, what a great programs, great programs that are going on here. Um, and Moody's, I work at Moody's Collision Centers and we partnered with Maine Blue Collar and we're proud to, to come to these events and to see all that's going on in the CTE schools. Um, so tonight, I do want to mention one more thing. Our scholarships this year, we gave out 150 scholarships. The first year we did this, we gave out 32. And so since 2017, we've improved to 150. And I say this because I heard there's a lot of juniors here tonight. And as a total, we gave out $175,000 throughout the state of Maine to individuals pursuing a career in the trades. So all you juniors, in September, sit down and apply for our scholarship, mainebluecollar.com. Okay, so tonight we have four recipients for the scholarships. We have Benjamin Burgoyne. Is Ben still here? Yep, come on up. Um, Andrew Doughty. Brian Snyder. And Shiloh Worcester. That's all I have, and thank you very much. Thank you, Chrissy. Have a safe drive back. Joan Alfond Family Citizenship Award for $1,000 to Tiffany Heinrichs. Dexter Sunrise Kiwanis Club Citizenship Award, $1,000 to Jillian Poliquin. And the Penobscot Lodge, Masonic Lodge, number 39, 
scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Ben Bergoen. Uh, Steve, come on up.
waiting for, all you seniors. So all throughout the course of the year, seniors, as they get accepted to college, or they get a bona fide job offer, or their recruiter notifies me that they have been, um, they've enlisted into the military or something, bring me proof of this. And then they get a star that goes on my board. Some of you might recognize some of these. Lauren Brunner, going to the Maine Army National Guard. Is this still the case, Lauren? Yes, still going, to, okay. So this goes on my bulletin board, and I tell them, at the end of the school year, I'm gonna take all the stars off the board, put them in a bag, and we're gonna draw out three of them, and those three people are going to get a gift card for $150, courtesy of Melmac, to Rennie's. So without further ado, Mr. Levitt is going to be my Vanna. Card number one goes to Serenity Grant. Ms. Hansen. Let's see. Okay, door prizes. I think if you look under your seat, you may have a special card under there. If you can reach it, I don't know if I can reach mine, but it would be a special card. The next card. Okay, we have a winner. Come on up. Oh, sorry. He said, no, we don't have a winner. Sorry. No, not that card. Nice try, guys. No, not that one. It's an index card. An index card. Who's sitting in the index card? Everyone's got to look. Be here all night. No, not that one. Oh. What's it say? Yes, come on down, that's the one, sorry. our um, program for tonight. I want to thank everybody for being patient. I know it's a long wait and set. Um, appreciate you coming out to honor your students. Have a safe travel home. <laughs>